Most organizations, most families do not begin with the end in mind. Just ask yourself this question. What is the purpose of your organization? Try asking 10 people in any organization. I'll guarantee you they're not on the same page. They're all over the board. Try it in your own family life. Next time you have dinner with your loved ones, just look around and say, what is the purpose of our family? And see what they say. They'll think you flipped out. <laughs> They'll think you're trying to apply business stuff in a family setting, like developing a family mission statement. I don't care what words they want to use. If you do not consciously direct the first creation, I'll guarantee you, it will be directed by your history, by your habits, by your moods, by your autobiography. And then if you get into a blended family situation, or you get married with someone else who has a completely different script, you'll find that when tough times come, there'll be completely different approaches taken to finances, to in-law issues, to child discipline, to all kinds of issues. That's why it is so basic and so foundational to always start every endeavor with a clear sense of purpose. Where do we want to end up? Even a meeting. Where do we want to end up? What feeling do we want to end up with? Not just an improved decision, but a commitment to that decision. And if you can get people together on the same page about the concept of ending up with a better decision, a solved problem, and a great feeling that unifies the stakeholders, you watch how that beginning with the end in mind affects the totality of everything that happens in that meeting.